Oops, almost forgot to tell you what this series is about. Um, so what I'm going for in this series is trying to cover all the attack patterns. Oh my god, my dog is ripping apart a pill! <laughs> So what my plan is for this series is to kind of just give a visual on attack patterns, how to block things, and drop rates for different bosses. Um, just want to start off by saying I'm definitely not the best Vindy player out there. I'm kind of a noob, but it's kind of for that reason that I made this series, is I was looking around and there isn't a whole lot of guides, I guess, visually. I mean, there's the wiki, which is great and all, but it doesn't really give you a visual as to how these boss fights work so figured I'd make this also if you guys need anything in the comments like if you want me to add any other like subject matter that I'm covering in this or if I don't know maybe you want to see a specific boss fight again because I'm starting from the beginning then just let me know and I'll like skip right over to that boss fight I mean if it comes out in a different order I don't really mind as long as I could get what you guys need out as fast as possible so Let's get right to it. Try to get through these first couple of boss fights as quickly as possible. And, yeah, let's go. Okay, so we're going to jump right into it. Your first battle is going to be a little wooden training doll. Two different diff attack patterns. Not a big deal. Let's take out these little guys around him. His first attack is he's going to be kind of looking at an ant on the ground and then bop you on the head. Other one is a samurai quick draw. Now that samurai quick draw intimidated me a little bit. So I just went into trans just as a little extra insurance, you know. Didn't want to die on the first video, that'd be a little bit embarrassing, let alone on the first boss fight. If you don't have to go trans, good for you. That just means you're a little bit of a better player than I am. But I just did it again as insurance. I suck. Okay, so second fight, same deal, two different attack patterns. This time you're just fighting a big bad wolf. First attack, samurai draw. Second attack, look at the ants on the ground and bop you on the head. Same kind of deal. Next time got a little lazy, just kind of reskin the boss and... Give him the same attack. Yeah. Nighttime. Daytime. Nighttime. Daytime. So moving on to the next guy, he's also a puppy, so pro tip, if you're a dog lover, just close your eyes and click your mouse. That's pretty much all the skill you need for these first couple of fights. This guy also has two attack patterns. Really not a big deal. He has his base attack and this attack right here, which is a two sequence attack. Weirdly enough, Whenever I blocked or dodged that first one, the second attack didn't even register. So I guess that would only count as one attack. I don't know what Nexon's doing. They're compuzzled. But next guy up, also a dog. He's got a bow this time though. So he's got two attacks. This first one right here, he looks like a fat kid jumping up on a trampoline. Shoots three arrows and his normal arrow attack. But this guy kind of sucks at aiming. Even if I stand it still for a while, it took him a couple of hits to hit me. So... Not a big threat again. Anyway, move on to the next one. Similar to that fight two fights ago, except now with 100% more rabies. A little bit stronger, but he has the same exact attack pattern as that golden guy. Take him out pretty quick, just because it's a little repetitive, Nexon. What are you doing? Okay, so moving on to the next guy. We've got... Okay, hold on. Because this fight, I actually enjoyed a little bit. Just because you get a fight 100 of these gnolls. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it just, I don't know. I really enjoyed this fight. I wish they would do it more often. Um, it just felt really like a battlefield. I mean, it was non-stop fighting. I guess it might be annoying with any other class other than Arisha, just because every time I pop one of the mana crystals, I get all my or all of my stamina back. But I don't know. It was a fun time. And you would figure that after this, the boss fight would be really, really hard because it's like such a big buildup. But I was looking at this guy's attack patterns, and this was pretty much it. He just kept on trying to smack me in the head with a club. It was like a big buildup, and it was kind of anticlimactic. So yeah, I just kind of sent him back to where he belonged, in the stars. And I, I guess that SP came in handy from that really big boss fight. So yeah, I just kill him. Figured the only kind of kill is overkill. And blast him off to the start. So, this guy actually still only has two attack patterns, but at least it's a little bit more exciting. You get this cutscene and you're like, oh, I'm about to fight somebody really badass. But in reality, very similar to the other couple of fights. He's got two attack patterns. One is a big 
hammer slice, and the other one is a kick. You'll see him right here. Here's the hammer. Really obvious. He'll swing that hammer back. You'll have plenty of time to either dodge or do whatever you need to do. Also, that kick, it's a little bit faster of an attack, but you can tell it's still a little bit of a wind-up. A lot of these fights in the beginning are going to have a long time for the monsters to wind up, and that's just kind of to get people acclimated, I guess, to the fighting system. So you have a lot of time to, I guess, react. So this next guy, this is actually a raid, but I just jumped in by myself because I'm grossly overleveled for this. He's got a couple different kind of attacks. He's the first one, that spin attack. And here we go again. And here, so this attack is actually really important to this boss fight because this is kind of where he has the biggest delay after he attacks. There are two hammer smashes and a spin. You'll see it again right here. And it's really, really easy to get close to him. I'll also show you right now how not to do it. This is, again, me not being good at Vindictus. So, one, and then dodge way too early and get hit by it. So, make sure your dodges are a little bit late, just so that you don't dodge too early into a hammer. Also, if you're an Arsha, you could mana drain all of these. Which, I mean, would help, because it would get you in range automatically, and it would get you a few extra bits of mana. This attack, though is a little bit more dangerous. I would say this is the thing to watch out for for this boss. This two kind of slides to the side and then a full turnaround. You cannot mana drain that because he's a little bit too fast with his attacks. But other than that, that's pretty much it for that boss. And yeah, that pretty much covers the first dungeon. Next time I'll move over to the icy dungeon. I don't know what it's called. I think it's like Frosty Hollows or something. Maybe making that up. Probably am. But anyway, if you're still around, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, one more thing. I just wanted to mention that usually I would put items that these things drop in here, but I didn't this time because since they're such low level, nothing's really worth anything. But I will start putting like what each of them drops, percentage, and all that stuff in there. Again, if you want me to add anything else to these videos, just let me know, and I will. But that pretty much covers all of Dungeon 1. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so I know you like it. And that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. See ya.